What if the world's toughest decisions, from military operations to billion dollar supply chains, all ran on exactly the same software? That'd be amazing, right? Well, that is exactly what Palantir does. Palantir builds the digital command centers that helps governments and companies turn overwhelming amounts of data into instant actionable insights and decisions. Right now they have three main platforms. That's Gotham, Foundry, and AIP. These platforms take all of the messy information from a mixture of sensors, satellites, uh, spreadsheets, drones, emails, and they will fuse it all into a single understandable picture. But here's where things get really crazy. And that is the scale and the size of the actual contracts that Palantir is securing at this point in time. Only very recently, the US Army approved a $10 billion deal over a 10-year contract, which will consolidate 75 separate contracts they have at the moment, including projects like um, Maven, Titan, all into one unified data and AI backbone. Then you've got the US Navy. They signed a contract just under $1 billion, also over a 10-year period. And that is to help them build real-time, unified command and control data platforms. Then you've got the US Marine Corps. They've adopted Palantir's Maven smart system to upgrade intelligence and targeting. And then if you go overseas, you've got the UK's Ministry of Defense that have very recently expanded its partnership up to 750 million pounds to integrate Palantir's AI into its digital targeting web. And outside of defense, they've then struck a major partnership with Snowflake. And that was just as recent as October 2025. And this will help combine both companies' strength for enterprise-level AI. And finally, my favorite, they struck a multi-hundred million dollar deal with Space Force to process massive complex data in real time. And yes, you heard me correctly. I said Space Force. So Palantir isn't just a software tool. It's becoming the operating system for national security, AI-driven enterprises, and real-time decision-making, not just on Earth, but in space. But let's be honest, do you think Palantir is becoming too big and too powerful? Or is this the exact sort of thing the world needs right now? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And comment Palantir, and I will send you the full videos from above on YouTube. Take it easy. Peace.